<laughs> this honestly might be the coolest thing I think I've ever done in my life. It's so good. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? You will never need another lover Cause I'm a milf and you're the mother chucker Hello, good morning It is literally before 6am, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? I don't even know how to act <laughs> I filming am on a new camera It's the fam famous, famous, famous Canon G7X Mark II It has better focus than Mark III Isn't that ironic? Isn't that satirical? And I just don't know how to act. <laughs> I've never had a camera like this before, not like a lot of camera. So yeah, it's very exciting stuff. It's my birthday present. I'm also doing my makeup, but I kid you not. I kid you not. My mascara fell off and it rolled off somewhere. There it is. Okay, so anyway, I'm getting ready at the moment. I'm doing my makeup. I also look like a Russian doll um, because my lips are really chapped. <laughs> really chapped. And you may think, like, oh, this is gross. Like, drink water or, you know, eat chapstick. I do. I do all those things, but let me tell you, it is February in Southern California, and you know what What else is in Southern California? Drought. Actually, I don't know if it's drought right now, but it's just super dry all the time, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and this is the face that I do my mascara with, isn't that funny? That's what makes the world go round and round. I feel like there was a chromatic scale and that was kind of pretty. I'm also a singer-songwriter, and I feel so good to say that, like I am a singer-songwriter instead of an aspiring singer-songwriter, but it's valid because I'm currently working on my first song. I already recorded it. Listen, I'm working on my first song. Is that not the most exciting thing in the world? I'm working on my first song, like... <laughs> oh, pardon? <laughs> so I'm gonna be putting it out soon, releasing it soon. Once again, if you just wanna be really updated, follow my Instagram or just take a look at it. It's out there nothing. It speaks for itself. My art speaks for itself. So what made me wanna decide to do something as crazy as this? Because to be quite frank, you may think like, oh, you know, just I don't say I don't like when people say you may think because at the moment when I'm watching a video I don't think anything. Do you guys think anything? I don't But in case you are thinking like oh, you're just going someplace like what's so scary about that? I've never done that before I've never done that before literally never but I guess there's a first time for everything I'm losing my going somewhere alone beyond the marked territory of my city virginity <laughs> That's really funny. So yeah, I'm about to turn 18 I gotta implement the 18 plus humor. That's it, that's my makeup. It's very, it's very simple, overly so, if I may say so myself. I got my license January 26th, right? And that's cool, and that's, that's fun, I love it. Oh my gosh, here again. This is a new camera, and I literally don't know anything about it. So this is you and I getting to know each other, but also the camera and I getting to know each other. Yeah. Yeah, it just took up all the card memory, and I had to format my card. Does that sound too geeky? Because it kind of is. <laughs> I would have never known if it weren't for YouTube, so I have a deep appreciation for the art of making videos. I've only driven alone in the premises of my own city, as in like, <laughs> to the gym. And that's pretty much it, I'll tell you that much, that's pretty much it. But I thought I would spice it up, and I thought I'd do something that is so main character that I just can't not do it, you know? And I've been thinking about this literally all week. And now I just want to kind of flake out. I'm not gonna, but I want to do it. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, it feels like I have plans or something, which I do. <laughs> I literally do have a plan for myself. I'm just really nervous. I've never been really in public alone, except to go to the gym. But does that really count? No, the gym's very, it's a place full of solitude. And I love that. You don't always want people coming up to you at the gym. Last time I went alone, three people came up to me. <laughs> You know, I wish they hadn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is what it is. What can I do? For me, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I'm wired as a creative person. Doing things like this is so important to me. Obviously, I need a lot of inspiration and I need to feel inspired. Otherwise, how can I create? Discipline, of course. Discipline in and of itself is an art. That's not always enough. The song I wrote, it didn't come from discipline. I think it took some sort of discipline to finish it. But when I wrote my song, it just came pouring out of me. You know, that's inspiration. I just felt so inspired in the moment. This video is just me getting inspired and recharged and I want you to come along. We'll do it together, literally. Okay, let me put on my fit, it's cute. This is my outfit. Is this not the cutest thing in the world? Is it also February though and early morning, which means it's cold? Yes, do I care? Yes, kind of. Look, these are my two jackets I'll be having, just these two frolicking around my bed and also it's really funny look i have a cross stitching kit i did cross stitching when i was younger like as a hobby 
So I got myself a kit, right? But look at the size. <laughs> look at the size. I uh, sent this to my sisters yesterday. My older sister, Alexandra, she cross stitches sometimes, rarely, but she knows how to do it. She's like, Vera, <laughs> this is gonna take you a year. But it's all about the process. It's not about the journey, it's about the destination. Why am I having camera problems? There we go. I love how we're just living vicariously with me, doing something kind of crazy and very spontaneous in the sense that I literally planned this yesterday. <sighs> you know what I'm spending the past 17 minutes of this morning doing? Taping, y'all. I think almost done. I had to retape like six billion times. I need this to be sturdy. My dad's gonna be here soon because he goes to the pool early morning. And I wanna leave before that because I'm taking his car. It would make sense if he came here and I could have just, you know, let's go. And I have left the house. I couldn't even really eat breakfast because I was so nervous. Why is this a thing to be nervous about? Going out in public alone. The thing is, I do tend to be nervous about a lot of things. <laughs> and this just happens to be one of them. <laughs> no one's on the road. This is so funny. Literally nobody's here. I'm gonna turn on some music. <sighs> Life is good. Life is so, so good. I'm here, I made it. Oh gosh, I'm gonna take off my jacket. I don't care how cold it is, <laughs> my girl. <laughs> but actually, it was a safe drive, thank God. Everything is good, no one's on the roads. Like, nobody's at the roads. This reminds me of this one time I went on a hike with a friend and he drove me because I didn't even have my well, permit at the time. I mean, that feels weird to say he drove me here when it was like us together. Should I take my bag with me? Yeah, I feel like I should. I also took some sunglasses with me and I also have sound isolating headphones with me, <laughs> which is really, like silly weird. I've never gone out in public with sound isolating headphones with the big ones. It's always been AirPods because it's always like, they're too big, you know? No, they're not. So I don't wear them. They're not too big. Shout out to my friend Angie for gifting them to me three years back. Love you, Angie, if you're watching. You probably are. I love that for you. Look how cool this looks. Doesn't this look cool? I feel like it does. I also got a pee, but I'm afraid there isn't an opportunity to do that anytime soon. This honestly might be the coolest thing I think I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I'm listening to Everybody Wants to Rule the World. One of the most perfect songs or so claimed by one of the band mates from the Wallows. I'm just here at the ocean, uh, literally like my favorite place. <laughs> Life is so good. <laughs> I also love filming trash. Look how aesthetic this is. Converse. I'm walking and I just realized that I think it's tried playing Good Life by One Republic And then I realized that what's the point of me listening to music when all the music I need right now is literally right here Gosh, I can't even describe the feeling I get when I'm just this close to the ocean It's like, I don't know The tide is so low and it's such a good time I already feel so inspired and recharged just from walking here for like the past 7 minutes I love this more than anything Okay, I'm gonna continue embarking on my spiritual journey. <laughs> What's well, actually really interesting, and I've been thinking about it as I was walking over here. I'm practically at the end of the beach, and so I'm gonna have to walk the other way. But when I was like 15 or so, I sat at the end of the beach, so on those rocks right there, and I was manifesting things <laughs> in my life. That sounds really silly to say, but that's exactly what I was doing. I was manifesting things, and thinking back now, all of them have come true. Each and every single one of them has literally come true. I remember I was just sitting on those rocks, and I was speaking to the ocean, and I was like, hey, <laughs> these are the things that I want. And obviously, with manifestation, it's nothing without work. If you don't work, nothing's gonna manifest itself, you know? Things don't manifest themselves. You have to put in the work. And I put in the work, and I'm here. And it's anything I've ever wanted, I have. And so right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna speak to the ocean again, because I have my first song coming out. Like, it's, it's a new chapter of my life that I'm quite frankly really excited for, but obviously really nervous about, because it's so new. That's fine, though. that's fine. It's good to be nervous. It just means you care. And I'll speak to the ocean again, and I'll ask for things, and I'll put in the work to get them. And I think without, with these sort of experiences, it's not about 
looking for a feeling like coming here because I came here to get inspired right but I'm not looking for that feeling of inspiration I'm just letting things be I think that's very important I'm not looking for anyone I'm not looking for anything I'm just letting things be and letting them happen and welcoming them with open arms I'm gonna go manifest right now <laughs> I just wrote a poem, I talked to the ocean, and I haven't written in a really long time because like I said, I've been very emotionally drained after my song. And I think as a creative, it's important to have discipline, but when I don't have inspiration, when inspiration just isn't there, it's really hard. But I just wrote a poem and I'm not gonna share it with you because I don't think, I don't want to share it. It's very, it's just for me. That's the thing about art and creating it. Sometimes I get in my own head and I'm like writing something. I'm like, oh, could this be a song? Like, could, could I release it? What would be the hook? What would be the chorus? Whatever. But that's not always beneficial to think like that. Not at all. Because as I mentioned prior, I didn't come here searching for anything. I came here and I'm just letting things be, right? And so I think with art, it's the same thing where you just write whatever comes out. Just write and decide later if you like it or not. Isn't there this quote by... Um, Andy Warhol maybe while you're making art let people decide whether they like it or not but while they're doing that just make more art Ugh, I love the ocean so much have you ever seen me happier like ever I don't think so to go back now to the car because it's getting very hot also I mean I walked all I wanted to walk I wrote a poem like I'm I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm killing. <laughs> Look at me. I'm like a little hippie. Also walking back, I saw some girl. She was wearing the coolest outfit in the world. I didn't say anything though. I don't know. It didn't really come to mind. Oh my gosh. She's probably the coolest person at this right now. Did I just say bitch? I meant beach. I'm sorry. I meant beach. Russian. <laughs> Russian accent. The point is I don't really know where I'm going. I am a bit of a geographical idiot. And I say that lightly because I, I think I'm climbing up a wrong hill. It's really hot. I mean, I guess I'll figure it out, but it's so worth it because look at the view. Look at this. Honestly, I don't care where I'm climbing as long as that's the view. I think we're starting to sweat. Jeez. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm at a trail. And I know for a fact I'm not supposed to be here right now. And then we all fucking like me. Yeah, I think I just found a road by accident. You know how I told you I was a geographical idiot and I said that I used the term lightly? I walked 0.7 miles. It's almost a mile in the wrong direction. It's almost two kilometers or something like that. Now I have to walk all the way back. But I'm on a trail. Like, it's cool. Like, I literally... Ah! My glasses. Hi! Okay, so I'm in the car. I love how I just have very interesting angles nowadays. But you know what? At least it's not boring. <sighs> Gosh, I'm tired. I just walked so much and I didn't even intend doing it, but I guess somehow it just happened to be this way. And if you know anything about me, you know, I love to exercise more than literally anything. I love to exercise and I do it at any and every given opportunity. I'm also painfully hungry. And by painful, I really do mean painfully. I'm really, really hungry. I also feel like my lips are getting better. Like I'm not that much of a Russian doll anymore. That being said though, I did hear a Russian woman, I think there's a couple of people that were probably on a date or something and I just could hear her accent and I walked by her and she didn't probably know I was Russian I look Russian but still I speak Russian, guys, that's my first language Well, so I started to make a vlog in Russian I'm going to talk in Russian, I'm just kidding Now for food though I gotta find something to eat because otherwise I'm literally gonna starve and I don't- <laughs> this is so dramatic but I'm thinking of going to Trader Joe's nearby let's see if there's service and if there is I'll just put it on the map so there's no service mm. Albeit the American society, the one I'm growing up in, is individualistic, more individualistic than other cultures. But still, I don't feel like we emphasize alone time enough, <laughs> you know? Like at the beach, it was so nice. I wasn't even expecting it to be that nice, but it really was so nice. And then a bunch of people came later on. So I think it's like 9 a.m. now, so, you know, makes sense that they want to witness that beauty. And it makes me so happy that there are people who want to experience that beautiful landscape as much as I, you know? That's so cool. But I feel like with alone time, at the end of my day, what it really comes down to is if you are left alone, which you probably are, unless you're living with someone all the time, you know? And I, I live with my family. Am I alone at night? Yeah, that sounds so weird, but you get what I'm saying. You get the gist, right? When you're left alone at night, how do you feel? I feel, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit relieved because lately, yesterday, the day before that, I was with my friend at the gym where we were hanging out. Like, my social battery's out. I love my friend. I love my friends. I love hanging out with them sometimes. 
I'm quite introverted, if you couldn't already tell. But like my social battery's out. And this is the end of the week for Europeans. Beginning of the week for Americans because their day starts on Sunday. I'm like, who invented that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who invented that. I think I got some mascara here. Yeah, and I'm just recharging, and you're here recharging with me. But that's so funny because usually on Sunday I'm like, I'm not working. What am I doing? I'll film mine. It's okay, I'm just combining the things I love. I can't not work sometimes. It's so fun. I'm gonna have to skedaddle to Trader Joe's. It's my favorite store in the whole world. So I have never been in a store alone without headphones. I don't think ever. I've never driven to the store alone, so this is also first. It's like my bucket list. I don't even know what to say. So yeah, I'm a little, <laughs> so silly. I'm a little nervous going in because I've never been to a store without headphones. And I reparked my car so that it's more scenic. That is the ocean right there. And uh, trust me, I'm gonna need all of the scenery I can get because, drumroll please, guess what I got for breakfast? First of all, kombucha. JG Kombucha, if you ever wanna sponsor any of my content, you just hit me up. I can be an ambassador, I don't care. I love your kombucha so much. In fact, I actually post sometimes on my story whenever I drink their kombucha and I tag them and sometimes they like my tag and that, I don't know, I just fangirl every time. You know what I mean? Usually I get Caesar salad, but I'm like, okay, listen, I don't have a fork. You know, I probably could get it. I don't wanna eat something like that in the car. So I thought I'd go with the wrap and I always get the turkey wrap, but I got a chicken wrap. The funny thing is it's heat and serve. You're not heated up right now. No. Am I gonna go home then eat it? No, why? Cause next I gotta get matcha and I'm not gonna eat matcha on an empty stomach. Raw. I don't think it's gonna be bad. It has 24 grams of protein. Okay, taste test, ready? It tastes raw. Cold out of 10, it's like a five or six. I need the fuel, the energy, the calories. So I'll just keep on eating. Also my, my camera is at one out of three. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. The next stop is matcha. I've been dying to get matcha for more than a week now. But thing is, I parked really, really far. I was gonna move, but then I realized that it's really nice here. This one's supposed to be really good. I checked the place on Yelp. They made it fairly fast. I'm glad I didn't bring my stuff to sit inside because it's noisy. And if I'm gonna read, I'm gonna do it on quiet in peace. Look how this matches my eyes. It's on oat milk with light ice. I don't know if there's any caffeine in it. I think in matcha there is. Here, if there is any, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> I love matcha. I'm drinking matcha. It's so important to do things for yourself. 